Hi, Hi with, with the Silvas. I, I don't want to begin like that. Everybody begins like that. Like they say, hi with a... I don't want to do that. Really? Hi, we're the idiots. Is that what you want? Huh? And three, two, one. The dynamic of our family is very different, to say the least. We make movies. Today we focus on Daryl Silver, local filmmaker. Around Town has been following his career since 2005. He's working on his second movie, and it's a mob movie called Boys. Uh, upcoming movies. Yeah, a mob movie entitled The Boys. I think we might have talked about it in February. We're going to start filming next month in this area. These allow um, opportunities to open, doors to open in order to come in um, where I can, you know, get this film done. Hey, Dad. What's up, buddy? What do you do for a living? This is the life we live. This is what happens. Because my dad considers you a brother, I believed you. I trusted you! I just don't want you influencing him, that's all. I thought this was supposed to be a nice day. I told you to watch your mouth. I'm Alfred Ocasio, the boss of this family. Yeah, well, I'm your son. Probably the only person left besides Ma who still loves you unconditionally. Sounds like a brother to my father. I can trust him. I thought we weren't supposed to trust anybody. You gotta make sure to carry this out now. Yeah, I know. I got it. So what's the deal, Trent? Do you do this, or do you walk? Coño, man. What's the matter? Am I in a friendly face, huh? Don't start no trouble, Trent. I'm not starting nothing, okay? Callate. Why your boy over there, huh? <laughs> Oh, him? He just came over to say hello, bro. Like me. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Mimi, say goodbye to daddy. You might never see him again. Why are you gonna say something like that to her? What, Doug? You act like that's an impossible scenario considering your daily duties. You know what? Here. You love me again now? See you tomorrow, sweet, okay? Thank you, honey. Where's Lakata? I don't know. I haven't seen him. You know where Lakata is. You've always known where he is. Lakata's a made guy. You kill him, forget it. You'd have to move to Mars. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! I believe in any given moment, you can change your destiny in the drop of a hat. And that's what I decided to do. And we're premiering a movie called Boys, and here is the producer, director, Daryl C. Silva. Indeed. Hello, Larry. And, and I 
forgot to mention Lisa. Yeah. Yes, co-producer on the movie. Very good. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about the movie first of mm -hmm. all, and then we'll go from there. Sure, sure. You know, I can't help, to be honest with you, uh, when sitting here with you thinking about how maybe, what, three years ago, oh, yeah. you were interviewing me outside of, what was it, Salvatore's? Yeah. And we were getting ready to film the hypnosis show scene, okay, right. and I had the long hair and all that going on. On today's show, we go on location to Salvatore's Restaurant and Function Facility in Lawrence, Massachusetts. We get to take behind the scenes look at a new mob type movie called Boys, produced and directed by Daryl C. Silva. Our coverage starts with an interview with Daryl and hypnotist Jerry Valley to explain today's events. It's the first night of production for the mob movie Boys. Uh, we're going to be shooting it all in this area, being New England. Um, we start tonight and then we pick up again in a couple weeks. Uh, we're going to shoot about 18 to 21 days as a whole. Brian Beaudry is on the side of me and he's actually actor slash boom pull up uh, this evening, the beauty of low budget. A little more this way? Uh, oh, no, a little more. Right in front of the monitor. Perfect. Thank you. And go. Well, then take one. Stand by, especially this table here. Okay, here we go. And action. Mr. Ocasio, thank you so much for coming by to see the show. You're very welcome. Chen Dan. Chen Dan to see. Thank you. Good. And cut. Um, it's been three years. We've been working very hard on bringing this movie to fruition. Uh, it is inspired by true events based in the Merrimack Valley area. Uh, it was also shot all over the Merrimack Valley, Methuen, Lawrence, Salem, Salisbury. Um, it's based on a story of a mafia family who basically, after living a life of murder and mayhem, try to find redemption. Uh, unfortunately, though, sometimes when you take that route, being the dark side, sometimes it's too late. So some make it out, some don't. But it has a very strong uh, redemptive value, being the movie. Now, Lisa, you have such a strong supporting role in this, but uh, could you explain is what your role was in this? Yes, well, this one, Daryl did a lot of it himself. I was pretty much behind the scenes in this one. I pretty much helped him behind the scenes and helped giving him advice. When they leave the theater after seeing the movie, yeah. what would you like them to leave with? One of the things about this movie and working on it for so long, um, you work on the picture, you work on the sound, you work on trying to make all the technical aspects of the movie as best as you can when doing a low-budget independent film. Um, but the story means the most. Uh, it all starts with the story. I want them to be able to leave the movie saying, wow, we're proud of this movie being from the Merrimack Valley. What a story well told and what a great theme and uh, what a great job done. Now more on the film is it really is a realistic depiction of uh, the real world. It is, yeah, very much so. You know, when you think of uh, the mafia, you think of the mob, you think of like, say for example, I always do anyway, um, that ending scene in Casino where Joe Pesci's best friend is the one to put him to rest, right, right. so to speak. Right. And it's very real that that lifestyle, or in that lifestyle, people turn on each other very quickly, where money is more important than, like, say, your friends or your family. Uh, so a lot of that is depicted in this, but at the same token, I think me being a family man or us being a family you know, unit, that's also depicted in there as well, how important that is. Yes. What were some of the challenges that you had to overcome? Oh my goodness. <laughs> how, how long is this going to be? <laughs> Give us some There's examples. The reason why it took it three, took years. three years. <laughs> so that's, that's it, well, yeah. That's, um, just to give a feel uh, behind the scenes look more or less as to what you have yeah. to go through to do this. Well, you know what? Um, to do anything uh, of value, obviously, uh, you have to find the means being financial, the financial means to be able to do it. Uh, we were blessed to be able to do our own work, to be able to put our own funds into the film. However, on top of that, we were also blessed to meet people who believed in us and believed in the story and put their own financial means in. So that, you know, 
with them putting in and us doing a lot of fundraisers, you've been at a few, you know, um, very fun evenings, but they take a lot of work. Each event, uh, when it's over, it's like a band-aid that you pull off and go, oh, it's done. That wasn't so hard. But, you know, that's probably the toughest. And whenever you're doing a film and you want to do it right, you have to do it in steps. So maybe the sound design is first or the coloring is next or, you don't know, the editing comes, you know, after that. So... There was certainly a challenge in completing each one, and me being as neurotic as I am, it had to be done right. You know, and changing the script at times right. to sure. fit the budget. Yes. So some of the scenes that he had, he originally wrote, he yeah. had to take out. Yeah, there was a car chase scene in there. You don't know, of course. Well, we couldn't do that. We had already gotten away with enough by doing the shootout scene, and I'm very grateful for you know everyone who took part in that. So I mean, there are certainly challenges when doing a film in general. They'll try doing it with a very stretched budget. It. Now you can only think about that. Now, be a name dropper. I've mentioned some of the few uh, the actors that are in this and what kind of roles. They play. Sure, absolutely. Um, well, Ron Ferris, uh, well, everyone's here this evening. Ron Ferris uh, is a professional disc jockey, and uh, he actually uh, started out in theater years ago. He's in this movie. He auditioned at the Sons of Italy, walked in, had quite a presence. He was phenomenal. Jerry Valley, God bless him, uh, plays himself in the movie, does very well at it, uh, obviously. Uh, Dr. Azar Corby uh, plays under, mo under boss uh, Sal Sam Perry, very natural. Uh, Jack Giarusso is played by John Rizzo, who's a dentist in North Andover. Gregory Athens, one of our more seasoned actors, uh, will be here this evening. He plays Charlie Licata. He's awesome. Uh, and Christy Lynn, uh, who actually was a stunt woman in the uh, Tom Cruise movie, Night and Day, was in the movie, and she played my mother, Anna Cassio. And she's got cancer in the movie, and it's very convincing, you know, because you would never know it in real life when you see her. Good. Now, so what's the next step now that you had the premiere? Where do you mm -hmm. go from there? Everywhere. Exactly. She's, no, she <laughs> said it correct. Well, distribution is probably what you're... Yeah, and right now we're doing it ourselves. Oh, right. So we're going to theaters around the country. Whoever lets us in, we're going. Yes. And we gave up our life for this movie. Yeah, right, we right. took no home. We're just going to RV it. Excellent. As long as people accept us in their theater, we'll be there. Yes. We're yeah. launching it from the Merrimack Valley to start. O'Neill Cinemas, where we are right now. Uh, Chunky Cinema Pub, Vision Max in Salisbury, Kendall in Boston, Cape Cod, uh, Cape Cod Falmouth New Cinema Pub. We've already been accepted to show it in Vegas at the, yeah, Palms. At the Palms. One of your favorite spots, Larry, <laughs> I hear. Especially the Playboy Club. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's just we're very, very, very proud of this film. People who have seen the screeners, theaters who have seen it thus far are excited about it and we're going to do what a lot of other filmmakers don't do yeah. we're going to take it and pound the pavement with it Ourselves. and take it around the country versus putting it in the manila envelope sending it off and going please like you have to still do it but i don't like to sit and wait with the first feature we did a lot of sitting and waiting waiting for the politics to take place there's none of that here it's pounding the pavement and making it happen he has worked so hard independently to get where he is. The film is fantastic. It's a reality, deep, good movie. It's based on real life and real deep issues. And I, I feel everybody's going to love it. Really excited about this movie. This is my second feature. And this one I'm playing uh, Son to the Mob Boss. My name in the movie is Ali Acasso. I also wrote and directed. These are our uh, wonderful makeup and hairstylist working on... Uh, the film with us and um, it's, it's just been great it's been a great experience and I believe my sophomore project is going to be far superior to my freshman love the freshman the sophomore is always better though you grow you learn it's just great for those who are new to this uh, sure explain what it's all about absolutely the movie actually is a redemptive film um, it is about a mob boss who um, ends up with a very bad gambling debt which is very uh, very easy to incur when you're dealing with a lot of money and you're in a crooked business. Dad, I don't believe you. Ma's dying of cancer and you're blowing every dime in order to pay off gambling debts. Um, and what happens is everyone turns against them because of this debt. You can't just abandon them, Sal. We got a lot of years invested here. Yeah, a lot of years of him taking every piece of the pie for himself. Maybe Licardo's got more of a share in heart, huh? 
and uh, he has to find a way to pay this money back. If he doesn't pay it back, obviously he will be killed. At the same time, while dealing with the situation, his son is a single father trying to raise a son on his own while trying to help his father run the mob. Everyone's turning against the family and they've got to make sure they can make it out of this alive. The son's mom and the, uh, the mob boss's wife, uh, Anne, is actually dying of cancer, so they were dealing with that as well. You finally came. I'm sorry, I've just been trying Too busy for your mother? No, it's just I've been trying to get it all together. You can handle all that mess out there, Ellie. But to me, you'll always be a little boy. You're not so tough with me. You're vulnerable. Don't you wish you could be that way with everyone, Ellie? No. Never survived. Jesus, I get eaten alive. Yeah. It's not like that on the other side. What do you know about the other side? I've lived a lot longer than you. I know a lot more about life than you do. I just came from that same conversation. You saw your father. Surprised? Nothing about that man surprises me anymore. So you're gonna wait till I'm dead before he comes to visit me? He's ashamed. That man's put hundreds of bodies in the ground and dozens of women under his belt. He doesn't have a shameful bone in his body. Look him up. I told you. He loves you. I love you too. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Tell them what? That you got feelings. So we have to see if this man can make it out alive. He wants to make it out of the mob, but will they let him make it out of the mob? So. We'll see what happens here. It's all filmed locally. It was all done in the Merrimack Valley. And uh, actually some of it was done up at the beach as well. Uh, another New England film from the silver screen. We're very proud of it. So um, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty excited about this scene. It's a uh, pretty moving scene. I was sad to lose my friend in this film, but you yeah. know, sometimes people gotta go, <laughs> you know? That's true. That's, with a mob movie, you can expect that. Right? Absolutely. Say hello to your old man for me. All right, yeah. Guys, on this side. All right, thanks. Got it. Great, thanks, Al. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, guys, quiet on set. And action. Hey, Allie, it's Dougie. Listen, I was really hoping to get you on the phone, kid. I seen Sal the other night at the bar. You better keep an eye on him. At any rate, Shona and Mimi are coming back in the next couple of days, and I gotta make things right with her. Sorry. We are actually uh, oh, looking up okay. towards them. They're coming from so up they're here. Gonna be, are they all the way around me, or just? Yeah, if we can get it where they're all the way around you, that'd be awesome. If not, that's fine to be have like a space somewhere in between. And listen, don't do it like a don't do it like a uh, like a hockey coach. You know, like a like a Pat, what's his name, Riley, whatever. Do it like a uh, just real like with that accent, like really easy, just like together forever, right, boys? Like with that breath, okay? Right. Like nice and uh, like nice and soft together forever, right, boys? Oh. All right. Can I see where the hands would be? So we're, we're good here. Yeah, but now I can't see his face. Okay, you need someone to move in? Switch with me, I'm calling. Yeah, that might work. Okay. Uh, so let me just see your hands in. A little bit lower. And we'll see, you know, what the Okay, okay great. And then... Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm all... Okay. 
Here we go. And action. Together. Forever. Right, boys? But some things stayed exactly the same. And cut. Good. What advice would you give um, someone who's thinking of of becoming a, a producer, a director, writer, producer? You're putting yourself out there emotionally for people to say, I love it, I, this is what I love, this is what I didn't, I loved it completely, or I, this is what I didn't care for. You know, so you find yourself in a place where you're like, why didn't I choose a nine to five job where <laughs> I didn't have to go through any of that? But your, your soul just like, it, it speaks to you. If you're not doing what it is you love, it's just, you collapse.